first thing is, is to drain the oil. Cap comes off easy while being held in the cold system. Now just wind that back in a couple of turns. And now while taking the forks back out of that system there, out of the collets. Seal drivers in. Now we can drain the oil. Gently slide the forks down through the collet, taking this pull system out now, we replace it with the other top clamps. Slide the top down through the... It's handy just to put a bucket underneath the the forks to catch the oil. Now just gently nip that back up. Turn it quite quickly and the oil will just drain straight out. Now the oil is drained, we'll slip the freeloading adjuster rod in. and compress the fork swivel the fork 180 degrees and now we're ready to undo the damper ok now we're ready to undo the fork cap slide our spanner in there this is one of the older YZ forks it's not a dual chamber, so it's pretty easy to deal with. Okay. Slide the rod out. Let the damper drop down inside. And remove your spring. The we're ready now to pull the damper out in one piece. Put it on the hangers to drain. And let the rest of the oil drain out of the fork. Now we're ready for the final disassembly of the fork. And drop that back in there for later. 
There she goes. Now we should be able to remove the seals and the bushes in one go. Yes, we hammer the forks and everything's out ready to clean. So we put the seal drivers in. Keep the wiper seal up the top. Turn them to the horizontal position so the seal hits on the seal driver, the washer, and then the bush. Gently. Get your rubber hammer. And gently tap. And everything's been installed in one go. Now get the clip. Place the new clip on the top. Put it inside. And just give one tap, put the adjuster rod in to preload the fork. Rotate. Now we fill the chamber with oil and bleed the damper unit. Now the damper unit's been bled, as you can see. Push it down inside, fill it up with oil. Set your gauge height to what you need. Now the final step in the fork. Everything's been reassembled. Yeah. Drop the fork back inside. The damper unit. Over here while we tighten things back up again. Now we can tighten up the fork cap to finish the job off and the job's finished. For you guys that are doing the GSX-Rs and the R1s this is the new collet for preloading as you can see you put your damper in there tighten the screws up so that they just hold put the unit the into holder. and put a bottle jack underneath it of maybe one tonne, two tonne hydraulic and you can compress any damper unit you want and springs. We also have a huge range of the collet holders with seal drivers as you can see. So there's no need to buy separate seal drivers. That'll hold your chrome tube and these hold the upper part of the forks.